Hey there magic wand, just before we get into your tarot reading I wanted to jump in super quick, I promise, just with a few announcements for you. Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, you can do so at any time by either clicking the link to my website down below or visiting wildlotustarot.com. I do have a new little offering which I think is, is kind of cute. It's actually the most affordable way to get guidance from me and in that reading I draw you a single tarot card from the beautiful Star Child Tarot and write you a handwritten letter about my interpretation of that card for you and I post it to your letterbox. You can now show your support by becoming a member of my channel. If you head to my channel page and click the join button, there's a video there where I describe in detail what I'm offering for my two different levels of membership. Don't forget the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. You can sign up at any time and receive lifetime access to all of the learning materials, videos, online learning modules, practices, uh, and in that course I, I am teaching my signature process to learn how to read tarot not just from the head but from the heart um, and go beyond the traditional card meanings and, and how to put it all together and thread it into a story as well. So that's available at any time, I'll also link that down below for you. You can find me on Instagram if you'd like to stay connected and hear a little bit more about me. Uh, you can find the link down below or you can find me at wild underscore lotus underscore tarot. I would love to have you over there with me as well. Till next time, sending you so much love and magic. Let's get on with your reading. Gemini, welcome to your tarot reading for August 22nd to the 28th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I've got the nine card block here, Gemini. Three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome. Oracles, elite tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. So Gemini, we kind of have a re reflective energy here. Um, I really feel it is time for, for change. You know, it is a really uh, good season for change at the moment. And I think it's time for you to reevaluate and really get um, well the first card out is shift the way to new potential it feels like there is new potential a new path a new future but there does need to be some decisions made and some new actions taken to to get there so let's start with that oracle now we've got shift the way to new potential and make a mission statement for your soul okay so this is about setting new intentions about firing up and taking a certain amount of action but also surrendering to the divine that's the moonology card so i'm a big believer that you know as long as we do our part then the universe can take care of the rest so there is a certain amount of letting go and surrendering to what is here as well because you've got the four of cups as your lead tarot energy gemini also appears in the spread and for me the four of cups is you know where you're at at the moment in your in your life there is an energy of dissatisfaction it can be that you know you, there's no growth where you are it can be that you know things are feeling limited or disconnected in some way now this could be in your relationship this could be in your career you know this could be in the place that you're living in it will be different for all of you so in the four of cups you know it feels like you are in some way pulling away or you are not investing anymore in in the situation that you're in um and we've got to make sure that we don't stay in that energy too long otherwise we can kind of get into that comfortably numb energy it really feels like there is a new plan um a new potential here to be made You've got the Hermit here, that's Virgo energy for me. And this is about a period of self-reflection where you're really going deep and you're looking for a new path. You're looking for a path to purpose and a path to the star energy, you know, which really is about your divine plan for your life. Okay, so I'm kind of feeling there's some reflection around, have I sort of lost my way? Is this it? Is there more to it? And, you know, the universe is saying yes, but you're going to need to do some things differently or, or make some different decisions. Now, in terms of other signs that I have here, I have Pisces, Cancer, Connections with the Moon. I have Leo with the King of Wands. Gemini, this is your major arcana with the lovers here. So you may or may not be dealing with one of those signs. So let's jump into the recent past. Two of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Okay. I mean, the Seven of Cups can be 
that there is some confusion about the decisions that may need to be made. Now, the Five of Pentacles can be that at the moment there is, um, you know, maybe a lack of finances, a lack of resources. There could be worries about, you know, the lack of those things should you make the decision to leave this job, this relationship, whatever it is for you. Um, I just feel like there is this energy where, you know, you're ticking along and maybe you're just meeting, you know, making ends meet or you've just got enough in the situation to keep you there, but not enough to, to deeply satisfy you. So I really feel that you are seeking more than, than what is here. Sometimes the Seven of Cups can mean that we are dealing with, um, you know, a person, company or situation that has been making some, you know, hollow promises or not delivering, not following through. And, you know, but the, that carrot is still being dangled and I just feel like, you know, you really had enough of that and you're wanting to make a decision to literally set sail to, to new shores here. So I've got the Page of Pentacles, the Moon and the Four of Cups in your focus energy. Now the Moon at the center is really about a new path being illuminated here and there might be some truths being revealed from within yourself, in your environment. You might be beginning to see things clearly here and you know, and realizing that, you know, the situation isn't really going to deliver what you'd hoped. So with a certain amount of, you know, uh, action and surrender, surrendering to the divine, then you can kind of change the trajectory here. You might be seeing somebody's true colors because sometimes with the moon energy, you know, I say with that we've got the wild wolf and the tame dog here and it could be that somebody's been acting in one way but underneath there's really something else going on that's not really um, you know in alignment for you. The moon is also a big card of intuition and insight and subconscious energies so there could be something that comes through your own intuitive channel here that really helps you out. Now um, you know I see in this four of cups card somebody who is you know tipping out something that has been offered. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody that maybe is continuing to make offers to you to keep you in this situation, but it's just not hitting the mark and you're awakening to that. And I think you're going, well, you know what, this time, no, I'm not accepting it. Um, I am focused on the three of cups here, wanting to get back to my joy, wanting to get back to my happiness and my harmony and celebrate that. The three here is also the link to the Empress for me. It feels like there is a bigger dream within you. Something, you know, that's on your heart that you really wanted to create for your life or you wanted your life to look differently for, from how it is now, Gemini. And you're now being, um, let's say, encouraged to take some actions that will really lead you there rather than staying in the illusion that, you know, that is going to happen in the current situation. So... Page of Pentacles is here. This is change in its very early stages. And, you know, the cards are really saying it's time for you to make a plan and take the first step. And when we take that first step, we send that message to the, the universe, Gemini, that we're ready. And then it starts to match us. It starts to roll out that red carpet for us. It starts to show us the, the next stepping stone. The Hermit energy can be this feeling at the moment, Gemini, that... You know, there is a feeling of being a little bit lost or maybe just not knowing where the path is. Everything kind of feels like at the moment it's in the darkness. You know, the moon is also that energy. But slowly but surely it will illuminate. And it's really about taking action in the new direction. And we've got very active energy here at the end of the reading with the Two of Wands, King of Wands and the Lovers. The Two of Wands is this energy of future planning, making plans, making decisions, taking action. We head to the Wands energy. And I often say with the Two of Wands, it's about taking a leap of faith beyond where you are, beyond the comfort zone, okay? There is so much potential. There is a world of potential available to you, but you do need to seize the day. And, you know, you do need to you know, really get out there. And that can be, you know, very uncomfortable. But the King of Wands is the energy that is probably better than that than at, at that than anyone. Um, the King of Wands is this energy of vision and discernment. And it says, Gemini, you know, you've got this vision for your life, right? It's time for you to, to discern the, the steps and the path that will take you there and then actually make some bold moves. Being Leo energy, you know, this links to the strength card. It's about having strength, courage, and determination. 
to really follow the callings of the heart, okay? Leo rules the both the spine and the heart. So I always say it's about having the backbone to follow the heart here and to really make some bold moves. For some of you, there could be, you know, a new partnership that is part of this as well. I do see two lots of, of lovers here. This could be, you know, um, you know, a reevaluation of relationship as well for some of you. Ultimately, the lovers here, Gemini, being your major arcana, is about you getting back into a powerful position in your life. But also, it's a card of harmony. Yes, it can be about, you know, harmonious pairings and harmonious relationships. But it can just mean, you know, this is going to, this kind of series of steps that you're going to take, is going to get you out of what feels like a very much a base needs struggle, okay, maybe financial struggle, maybe resource struggle, and really get you back into a place where you're on the path to abundance and things are coming into balance and feeling much more peaceful for you. And there's a certain amount of surrendering to what is, you know, if there needs to be endings along the way, then we need to be accepting of that and not try and hold on to situations that are not meant for us anymore. We've got the seven of wands, yeah. And there might be this feeling of needing to protect yourself in some way from those that are trying to, you know, continuously, you know, lure you in. Um, the seven of wands for me can also be about, it's an alignment card, all right? We need to stop fighting for what is not working for us and just let go and let the universal current carry us to the transformation. This is the death card in this deck, guys, and it's called transformation. And you know, it says that something in your life has had its season, had its cycle, and it's just naturally time for it to, um, you know, for it to to be removed, for the slate to be cleared. So we have to let go and accept that sometimes there are endings that are inevitable in order for us to get to the new beginning. And the answer is to follow the light, you know, follow the call of the heart, the soul, our happiness, our joy, and, you know, keep moving in that direction. That's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you gave, it gave you some clarity and insight on the next move forward. Um, I'm really wishing you all the best this week. Drop me a comment if you're cool to share. Love connecting with you over there. Please do hit subscribe. It really helps, uh, you know, support the channel and keep so many free readings coming. Wishing you so much love and magic, Gemini. Do take care. Bye for now.